Howdy. Today, we're taking a look at the new Blue Demon uh, multi-process machine. It's the Blue Arc 200 MSTI. It is an inverter uh, technology machine. You can do MIG, flux core, stick and lift arc TIG welding on DC. Uh, it's got some synergic uh, modes on here. We got a nice digital display. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box and start to run a bunch of different features that it does offer and uh, get a couple arc shots and go from there. So hang out and check out this new Blue Demon machine with me. So we got everything unpacked, uh, a, lot of, a lot of goodies in here. Uh, talk about a multi-process machine that comes with everything, okay? So it's a one-stop shop. Uh, you don't have to worry about buying an uh, extra TIG torch or stinger or anything else. Uh, the machine's gonna come with a MIG gun, a TIG torch, gas hose, regulator, stinger. You, you, you know, you have the adapter for 110 or 230 uh, hookup. We have some consumables. We got some, some nozzles, collets, collet bodies, some drive rolls, some contact tips, uh, a lot of good stuff here. So I like that right off the bat. I'm taking a look at this MIG gun and it uh, doesn't look oversized by any means. Um, you know, it feels good in the hand. I like that. Tick torch especially, you know, it's a size 17. Going back to that MIG gun, we actually have it where we can disconnect. You know, some of the smaller machines are all integrated. Where this one, you can pull that off, especially if you're just taking this machine to do some stick welding. You don't want all the extras uh, permanently connected on there. Uh, so that looks all nice. The machine itself, oh my gosh, this thing looks really nice. Let me flip this around a little bit. We'll check it out. You got your Blue Demon logo. You got your power here in the back of the machine. Uh, your on off switch. The actual interface, and I'll zoom in on this later, but uh, very colorful, uh, very interactive looking. You know, only a couple of knobs, couple of buttons uh, to get through the menu. Before I go through this interface, I'm gonna take a look. We have our uh, power supply in the bottom. We're talking a single phase, uh, 110 or 230 volt hookup. Your duty cycle is on a 110 hookup or a 115. 100% at 101 amps, 60% at 130, and then our 230 hookup, we have 30% at 200 amps and 100% at 110 amps. So that looks pretty nice. The other thing that it does have the option, it's a 50 or 60 hertz hookup. So it can be used here in the US or overseas as well. All right, so let's take a look at the interface. I'm gonna flip the machine on. You can see we got the Blue Demon Welding Products logo. It's loading up the system. And once we get in here, if I hit that home screen button, it's gonna give me my options across the bottom here. Your options would be 100% CO2 with a Synergic mode. We have 7525 Synergic manual MIG, so I can adjust everything uh, here without any type of Synergic uh, adjustment, aluminum, flux core. This thing will run both self shielding and uh, dual shield wire. You have a spool gun option. The spool gun is sold separately uh, that you can get through Blue Demon. MMA, manual metal arc welding or stick. We got a couple different rod options on there. And then lift arc TIG for DC negative. So let me go back. We'll start here with the MIG Synergic. And once I get into the Synergic, 
you can see that I am adjusting my amperage or wire feed speed. And since it's a synergic process, it's going to automatically change my voltage. Okay, so it'll tell you over on the left side whether you're below what's recommended or above. And here I'm at zero, which is what they recommend. They have a couple setting options over here. You have some arc control that you can adjust from positive 10 to negative 10 to help spread out or soften that arc. You have your wire diameter, 025, 030, 035, or 040. Pretty impressive, it'll hit up in the 040. You have the 2T, 4T, so if you want the, the trigger uh, on, off, or just hold it. And then you have some uh, post flow as well. So that's the interface for the MIG, 100% CO2. Uh, 75 25 will have the exact same options manual uh, cv or constant voltage here we are able to adjust wire feed amperage and voltage separately uh, and it's not going to give you that readout uh, one thing i do kind of like is that this as you adjust your wire feed speed and voltage it's gonna kinda of tell you what thickness of material uh, is recommended. So it really takes the thinking out of it. Aluminum without a spool gun, flux core, dual or self-shielding, spool gun, stick. See what kind of options we got here. So we have obviously, you know, there's your uh, open circuit voltage, which will drop once we strike an arc to closed circuit voltage. I can adjust my amperage here, and they do give you a couple advanced features for stick welding. They're gonna have hot start, zero to 10, arc force, zero to 10, and VRD on or off. And then the last option would be our lift TIG, and you're capable of adjusting the amperage. Really nice, what a nice little multi-process machine. All right, let's run through the hookup. For the MIG, okay, so we got a 10 pound spool. Obviously it'll take anything smaller than that as well. Uh, over here we have our tensioner. I'm gonna drop that, it's spring loaded. This has got the flat wheel on the top like most of your small machines do. And then you have your drive roll down here, uh, 1.0 and 0.8. And I'm gonna go ahead and Set this up for 030. And so this is a V groove uh, drive roll. That's why it's 1.0 or 0.8 V. And then it also comes with the 0.9 and 0.8 K for knurled. So if you're gonna run some flux cord wire through here, uh, use the knurled roll, which will actually have the little teeth on there. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it has the little teeth to grab that wire for your flux cord processes. And run it through your liner. Drop that in there. Drop down the top wheel and you can adjust your tension. It's that easy. All right, to set up the gun, I grab my MIG gun, and here I am going to grab the remote that connects to the gun, take the back side of the MIG gun, make this connection here. Go ahead and push that all the way in. All right, once we're all set up, we got the wire in there, we got our gun connected. I'm gonna go ahead and feed that wire through. These are Tweco style consumables. Go ahead and pop your contact tip on, tighten it down. Nozzle. All we gotta do is hook up to DC positive 
which is here on the left side. So take this lead, hook that up to DC positive, tighten it down, grab your workpiece lead or ground connector, hook that up and clamp it to your workbench. All right, we're all set up. Let's do a little MIG welding. I'm on 110, running about 205 inches per minute and 18 volts. Pretty impressive little art. Up to the camera a little bit here. All right, let's do that again. We're gonna jack up all of our settings and run it more of a stringer pass, just straight. From about 280 inches per minute. We'll take it to about 20 and a half volts. Still on a 110 hookup. Don't believe me? Here it is, old 110. All right, so just a couple quick MIG beads. You can see this thing's actually stacking some decent dimes here on a piece of quarter inch. And then jacking it way up, a couple start and stops, not too shabby. All right, so I ran a little bit of MIG. Quite impressed, everything right now is still on 110. If you wanna go from MIG to stick, pretty easy. Uh, just unplug the connector to the positive side. I'm gonna keep my ground exactly where it is. I'm gonna plug in my DINs for stick on positive and I'm gonna go ahead and run some 7018. The other thing I wanna do, hit that home screen Dial all the way over to MMA. Hit the button on the right, it'll take you where you need to go. I'm gonna probably run this one at around 90 amps. Yeah, 89, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna mess with uh, Hot Start or Arc Force or anything like that. Uh, let's just run it as is and see how it does. And there you have it. Sticks great. All right, we did a little bit of MIG welding, a little bit of stick welding. Let's go ahead and hop in the uh, TIG torch into the machine. Let's go ahead and change our polarity from DC positive to DC negative. So go ahead and take your uh, ground, go to the positive side. I'm gonna take my TIG torch here. Go on the negative side. And then you can actually run this all the way up to your tank of argon. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick, uh, I'll put the consumables on here, my tail. I have a collet body on here. I'm gonna put a collet in, tungsten, nozzle. And this does have the valve, okay? So once pressure is being sent to this torch, you turn it on and off like you would with any type of lift arc TIG. Using a 2% thoriated Blue Demon uh, tungsten. I got some Blue Demon ER70S-2 16th inch wire here. I'm gonna turn my valve on, get that gas flowing, and do a little T-joint here. Keep in mind this torch is live uh, without the high freak or foot pedal start or remote start as you really say. Uh, be careful with that, but there you have it. Stacking little dimes. I'm at 82 amps, still on 110 volt. Uh, I have not done any 230 volt hookup for anything, uh, but I was welding MIG 
on quarter inch thick, no problem. Stick, this is 3 8 Went a little bit thinner on the TIG. I'm set at about 82 amps. It's been uh, pretty good. Thanks for watching.